Hi there, this is your friend Virendra Diyar. It is my proud privilege to be with you with the secret of all the greatness. Because you know, lives of great men all remind us we can make our life sublime and departing leave behind us footprints on the sands of time. Dear friends, to leave a footprint on the sands of time, we have to really achieve a lot and try to serve the mankind with tremendous ideas and give plenty to the mankind so that they will never forget us. But how we can attain such a mighty task in our life? We need to have the command of some of the supreme gift of the God, what we were blessed at the time of our birth in the form of our mind to direct and control towards the realizations of the predetermined worthy ideals of our life. If we are really able to achieve a lot and with this achievement we can serve the mankind, make their life much better, more comfortable and graceful, they will be really obliged to us and they will never forget us. For this, let's see what is the secret that we can be so great in our life. Well, there is only one power, that is the power of the mind. Okay? So that power is our intelligence. And we have to stimulate our intelligence. Means the power of mind. Mind is the master power than Moles and Max. And man is mind. And even more he takes the tools of thought and shaping what he wills brings forth a thousand joys and thousand ills. He thinks in secret but comes to pass the environment is his but looking glass. Means anybody who develops the ability to acquire the full possession of his mind, the thinking power of the mind, the creative and imaginative power of mind, that person will really achieve a lot in life. All discoveries, all inventions, all the poetic talents and the literary writings, the philosophers, thinkers and the wise men exploited their mind power and they could make this world so beautiful. Their dreams, their lofty dreams, make our civilization so graceful and so gallant. And remember it, whatever the mind can conceive and believe, the mind can really achieve. The mind is having just such blessings of the intelligence that nothing can escape our intelligence, our power of mind. So let's use our brain, let's think. We become what we think about, but we have to total depend on the power of our brain. We can do it if we believe we can do, and we should understand that the secret power which made anyone so great was nothing but the intelligence. So this is stimulating ideas for men and women to believe in themselves and discover and try to perceive the truth that they are the maker of themselves. Mind is the master weaver both to the inner government of character and outward circumstances. And by controlling their thought in their mind, they can create the world which will be so pleasant, so nourishing, so encouraging that the posterity will always cherish us, remember us and bless us for our supreme gift to this world as millions have done. And remember it, nothing is possible unless we have tremendous faith and belief in our own abilities and capabilities. And this poem can really illustrate this. If you think you are better than you are, if you think you dare not, you don't, if you like to win, but if you think you can't, it's almost certain that you won't. Life's battle don't always go to the stronger, the faster man, 
But sooner or later, the one who wins is the one who thinks he can. You can do it if you really believe you can do. That is the secret of success. Must have a burning desire. Decide now. Have tremendous faith in believe in your capability, your power of personality, and you can really achieve any great thing in life, whatever you have cherished and you have determined to become. You will become what you want to be because you are the master of your fate and you are the captain of your soul solely because of the reason of the fact that you have absolute control on your thought. On your thought, that is the crucial thing. Your thought creates your world, as Buddha said. By controlling your thought, you can really control your world. You can define yourself, what you are, by reflecting your ideas in the form of your action. A man is a doer, and as he does, so he shapes his character. And as a doer of deeds and shaper of his character, he is a molder of his destiny. So you can really say what William Muller Stanley said, out of the night that covers me, black as the pit from pole to pole, I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced or cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody but unbowed. Beyond this place of wrath and tears looms but the horror of shade, yet the menace of years finds me and shall find me unafraid. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with the punishment, I am the master of my fate, I am the captain of my soul. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishment they scroll, I am the master of my fate, I am the captain of my soul. Beloved friends, I can assure you that you can become what you want to be and you can achieve what you will desire in your life, but must have a burning desire. Desire, decision, faith, persistence, mastermind alliance and well-organized planning. With these secrets, the world which we are your fate and you can become what you think about. I remember, what Ralph Waldo Emerson said, a man is what he thinks about, what does really think. If a man can wait, he can achieve everything. And he told that any idea which you persistently hold in your mind, that will really transform into reality. Just believe in yourself, dream, use the power of intelligence, and the mind will never disappoint you. Use it, think it, brood over it, cherish over some noble ideas and some fixed purpose and definite aim in your life. And God is there to guide you with a lot of belief and faith in your own power of personality and in the supreme blessings of the infinite Lord. The world is going to bless you with everything what you desire and you can make the world a much beautiful place to live. But remember it always. Hearts by great men reached in cap were not attained by a sudden flight, but they who held their companions were slept, were toiling upward in the night. You have to pay the price. There is no such reality as something for nothing. Everything has its price. You have the courage, you have the willpower, you have the determination, you have the conviction, belief, and faith, and believe it, you will become what you think about. It's all up to you. It is not a secret. It is not very strange that, remember, lives of great men all remind us we can make our life sublime and departing leave behind us footprints on the sense of time. Yes, you can do it. If you believe, you can do. And here is Vendra Diyar telling you, bye from now. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you, friends.